One of the new dinosaurs we keep hearing about that will be featured in Fallen Kingdom is the elusive Baryonyx. While rare for casual audience members, Baryonyx has been a part of the Jurassic Park legacy as far back as the beginning of the theme park, and a dinosaur included in John Hammond's original vision. Though we do not get to see the Baryonyx in the first Jurassic Park movie, it was indeed planned to be included in its own paddock located near a river. Baryonyx was one of the dinosaurs classified as Spinosaurids, and belongs in the same family group as the Suchomimus and Spinosaurus itself. Being the smaller of the three featured within this franchise, Baryonyx is still a deadly dinosaur dinosaur, and one that deserves respect from some of the herbivores that live amongst the islands. Baryonyx itself has been known in the scientific community as both Episcovore and Carnivorous. We know this because of the mix of both fish scales as well as young iguanodon remains found within the bellies of these ancient creatures. After Hurricane Clarissa hit Isla Sorna, it's unknown if any Baryonyx survived, seeing as how we have never officially seen any on screen. However, we have gotten an extensive look at the creatures through other forms of media. The Baryonyx has been a promotional dinosaur for this franchise since the original release of Jurassic Park back in 1993. Several toys were manufactured to go along with the hype for the first film, as well as The Lost World, and further toy lines to capitalize off of the immense success the series had. More interestingly, Baryonyx has also been featured in a few video games released for the series. Most notably, the creature appears in its own area in The Lost World for the Sega Game Gear, in which the player controls one of the hunters and has to maneuver their way through the dinosaur's habitat. In The Lost World for the Sega Saturn and PS1, the Baryonyx is encountered at the first stage of the human hunter. Here the animals are depicted as being a dark gray and living amongst a dimly lit cave system, with plenty of running streams where they no doubt hunt their ideal prey. Another important piece of Jurassic Park history is that the Baryonyx was actually supposed to be the main dinosaur in Jurassic Park 3. In fact, most of the crew still referred to the Binosaurus as the Baryonyx well into production of the film. The beast even got its own altered logo before the decision was made to change it to the bigger Spinosaurus. Being one of the animal's engine was known to have it initially created, Billy even suggests the Spinosaurus to be a Baryonyx. However, Grant points out the creature that he encountered had a large sail the Baryonyx wouldn't have. Baryonyx has had a long history within the franchise and is slated to be in the upcoming film Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. However, we may already have a glimpse of what this creature may be like before that film comes out in 2018. In the promotional website and tie-in material made for the Jurassic World hype, Baryonyx is featured extensively as being one of the new dinosaurs Mizrani has cloned for the new theme park. These new clones had proto feathers on the back of their arms and at the top of their heads. They are colored brown with yellow stripes and even a bright green spot on their eyes. While in the park, it lived beside its bigger relative, the mighty Suchomimus. Baryonyx can also be seen in Jurassic World via its reflection on the glass of an unknown closure, with the children looking up in awe at the savage beast. It seems well deserved that this crocodile-like dinosaur gets its fitting introduction to the world in the new film, as it's long awaited and has seen much hype. Hopefully the creature will have a few good scenes surrounding its inclusion, and hopefully it will be a memorable addition to the Jurassic Park legacy. In the future, I've got a ton of videos planned, so make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with my latest content. If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you left me a like. As always, guys, take it easy.